Hi guys, welcome to our webinar. I'm Ryan from Phil Hughes Office Solutions. I'm here with uh, James, the uh, owner and creator of uh, Fusion Signage. And we're gonna take you through a quick little demo on how simple and easy uh, digital signage actually should be these days. Uh, so James, if you'd like to start, take it away. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Ryan. Thanks for having me. Um, James from Fusion Signage. So I'm going to run through a quick demonstration because I know one of the major concerns a lot of people have is what do I do with digital signage? It seems to be this quite confusing and daunting experience where, you know, I understand what a TV is. I understand what a screen is. I understand kind of what content is, but I don't know how to put all the pieces together. So one of the major questions we get is, well, how does this whole thing gel and how does this whole thing work? Now, Fusion Signage is the content management system, which is the piece of software that sits either on the internet or on the device and allows you to control your screen no matter where it is. So if you currently are using digital signage, you may have a little USB stick that you walk around to your screen, you put that in and you put the content on. Fusion Signage will take all of that away and allow you to access it from any browser anywhere and update your content in real time and do a whole bunch of other really cool and funky things. So I'll share my screen quickly. And as we go through, I'm hopefully gonna give you a bit of an insight into just how simple this is in conjunction with a uh, reseller like Ryan from Phil Hughes. So Ryan, I think we were just discussing, we've been working together about six or seven years. So there's a really good track record um, of, of experience there with, with Ryan and, and his experience of doing the installations. Perfect, so hopefully you can see my screen now. So this is Fusion Signage. So it's accessible by any web browser and it allows you to log in and have as many users as you want. So you can have as many people updating and, and controlling your content. But the interface is quite simple. It starts at the dashboard, which just gives you a high level overview of the entire platform. Within Fusion, there's a couple of main elements that you need to get your head around. First one is content and content to us are just images, videos, websites, or what we call designs. And I'll show you the full detail of the designer, which essentially allows you to create content directly within the platform. Once you have that content, you can upload it into the platform. Uh, it's all stored within Australia in Sydney based on the AWS service, so very secure and very high reliability in terms of uptime. But you've got that content in here, you can then put it into a playlist. So a playlist would be very similar to a USB stick. So it allows you to put your content on, say this is the content that I want to play in this order, and then you can send that content to the screens. The third thing is a schedule, and the schedule just allows you to take multiple playlists and say, I wanna play this playlist at this time of the day or this day of the week or into the future. You could do that months in advance and just schedule all your content and have it automate the changing between that content based on that schedule. So very easy to say, you know, I want content Friday afternoon to be different to the content that's on Saturday morning. Otherwise, on the dashboard, we just have a bit of overview about your uh, network in terms of how many screens you've got online. It is a cloud-based solution, which means it does require an internet connection at each of your devices in order to download the content. But if for some reason your internet goes down, it will cache the content and continue to play. We also show you the number of licenses and how much storage and bandwidth you have. Bandwidth is just how much content you upload into the account, and that accounts for your total storage, and this number resets every single month. It does use local internet, so you have to make sure you have a pretty decent internet connection on site in order to make sure your content uh, can be downloaded and updated. On the left over here, we have our menu. Uh, it starts at the top at the dashboard where we just are, and it goes down to the designer, manage and deploy. So the designer is basically a way that you can get some content built within the platform. So if you don't have your own kind of content creation capabilities, you don't have a marketing agency that you work with or maybe a marketing team, this allows you to come in and say, look, I've got all these professionally designed digital signage content ready in portrait and landscape. We have video content, we have um, static image content, but all of these are fully editable. So if you have a menu board, for example, you can come and say, look, I'm probably never going to design this myself. All these elements are text fields, which I'll show you in a second, which allow you to come in and customize the pricing text fields all in real time. It just gives you a really quick way to get up and running into the platform to make sure you've got some really good looking content on your screens if you need to. Now there is a cost associated with this. It's just a once-off cost where you pay $79 for this template, for example, but then you can use that forever on your account. So it's kind of like going and buying something from an agency, except you can use it as many times and edit it as many times. So have a look at this because it's a really good way to make sure that your screen looks great uh, at the point of installation. One of the biggest um, things that we kind of notice walking around for people that don't have uh, the creative agency is you get all this brilliant hardware in there, it's installed on the wall, and then they just put a an average looking image up on the screen and it kind of brings the whole solution down. So definitely consider this. 
But under the designer as well, if you buy our advanced and pro license, and I'll kind of get into the licenses towards the end, um, there's three different license types, but if you get an advanced or pro uh, license, you can come in here and use the designer completely free of charge. So the designer gives you these layouts that you can start with, or you can start with a completely blank design, but you can choose one of these layouts in both portrait and landscape, create it from here. And then this is a starting point for you to come in and start editing this content. So I could come in here and make any of the changes that I want and say hamburger, uh, special and start typing it in here and say this is actually $17 and if you don't have your own imagery we have tied this through to Unsplash which has over a million free to use stock images so I can come in and say hamburger and see what kind of oh, hamburg probably spell hmm, interesting let's go with pizza there we go I don't know why can't spell hamburger but it has over a million free to use stock images that we can come in and choose and say, yep, I want to use this one on my template. It should download that content and insert it directly into here. So let's just change this back in real time. Pizza special, $17. So if you do have your own images, we do have the full of capabilities to upload your own photos, which is even better because then customers can see exactly what your pizzas or your specials look like in real time. In this designer, you have everything that you would kind of expect from text fields to image fields. You can add in your own lines and shapes. You could add video content in if you have video, videos of your, your products. And we do have a whole heap of widgets as well, which allow you to dynamically uh, increase the capabilities of your design. So put a, a clock widget in, for example, or you could put a countdown. If you've got something special coming up, you can say, you know, on this date and this will count down up until that date. We've got the date, whether HTML allows us to do integrations into external third-party systems or put in any HTML code, image slideshows, and so on. So really, really interesting ways to provide additional information to your customers in real time. Once you're ready, you can save this. Uh, this then just gets saved into your manage section, which we'll go through in a second, and I'll put that into the demo folder. And I can even create this as a template, which allows me to use this as a starting point to create any other content from this point moving forward. So if we save this design, that's saved. And now anytime I put it on the screens, I can edit it in real time. So moving on to the manage section, this is where you can upload all your content or manage any of the elements within the Fusion Signage platform. So under here, you can create your own folder structure, your own subfolders, whatever you wanted to organize it. Just think of this like a file system on your computer. You can upload files by either pressing the add button and go to image videos and so on, or you can just drag them directly into here. So under here, you can see my pizza and I can see that I can edit my design if I need to. So this file is the one that I just created in that designer. And um, basically it's just about getting your content in. When you're ready, you can click on the add and then under this option at the bottom, you've got the ability to create a playlist or a schedule. So creating a new playlist, if I say this is my pizza menu, it now gives me this nice blank playlist where I can start to populate this with all of the content that I'd like to put on the screen. Clicking on add media, you can see that pizza is right here. And then I can go down and add any other content I may want to add into it as well. So basically you just build your playlist of content. As we drag these around, you can change the order of them. You can change the duration if it's a template, a design or a website. So I can say, I want this to be 15 seconds, for example. And you'll notice the handy feature here where I can press the edit button. So if I press on that, uh, if I middle click on that and I go to the next tab, you can see that I can edit this up here, make any changes and press save. And then that will change it back in my playlist in real time. So I don't have to worry about going to my external third party application, creating the, the content, downloading and uploading and put it in. It's directly editable right from the platform. If I want to remove any of this content, I can delete it from here. It just deletes it out of this uh, this playlist. I could duplicate it if I want my pizza to design to be a little bit more frequently. Um, I can show and hide, which will disable the content. And I can even schedule it. So let's say I want to put this piece of content only on specific days. I could say I only want this to be on Mondays and Wednesdays. I could even specify a start time and end time, as well as a start and end date. So if this was only for the month of uh, March, for example, I could say only on March, uh, Mondays and Wednesdays, do I want this promotion to be playing? Apply and exit, and now that piece of content will only be shown at that point. So a really good way to intuitively change your content based on your, your specific business needs. Yeah, uh, if you do have a, an image or a video that you've uploaded, you can replace that content directly in here. So let's say, you know, you've got a different version of this or a different promo. I could hit replace, and now I can choose the different content and then replace that content in, in situ without having to go back and, and make any changes to it. Once you're ready, you can print preview and this will show you what the content is going to look like in real time. So if you've got a portrait screen, you can see what that looks like and you rotate through. Perfect. That's what my content. If it looks like this, this is how it will look on your screen. That's why it's really important to make sure that your content is tailored to the screen and resolution of your device. 
um, which the designer can help you with. If you're happy, you can hit save and publish. If I hit save right here, it just saves a playlist and then perhaps I can go put it into a schedule or use it later. But alternatively, I could just come through and oh, don't put on the expired one and select all of my screens. So this just gives me a list of all the screens and the screens are basically all your devices that you've paired to your account. And now I can update them all from here. So these are all just dummy screens, so they'll show as offline. But if they were online and connected to the internet, I hit save and publish. It gives me this warning because these are all currently offline and then save and publish that content within about a minute is sent to the screens and updated in real time, which is pretty handy. So that's essentially how the playlists work, pretty straightforward. If you were to come back into your portal um, and you wanted to say change your uh, pizza menu, it's very, very simple. Once you land on this dashboard, you'll see right here under the playlist section, you've got that pizza menu. If I click on that, it'll open up that pizza menu. I could come in, delete some content, add some new content in. We've got a little uploader right here, so I could drag those files in. Hit save and publish. It's already assigned to all my screens. Save and publish again, and then that content has been pushed out to your screen. So very quick and very easy to make changes in real time if you just want to make something on the fly. Back in the manage section, I'll quickly show the schedules. So create, add a new schedule in the top right hand corner. Let's call this one our pizza menu. So the difference between this scheduling and the scheduling that you just saw in the playlist is essentially this is using an entire playlist of content. So this is great if you wanna say, I only want this content to play. You could self-contain it within a specific playlist and say, this is my uh, client showreel, for example, and I want it to play Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, or let's say you just have a specific client coming in only on Tuesdays. That is now the only content that's gonna play at that time. So you can build it ahead of time and make it self-contained within a nice little playlist. You could come around and say, this is my morning playlist and you've got your lunch playlist and so on and so forth. These are all separate subsets of content that have their own content within them. We can even set a default playlist. So this is the content that's going to play if nothing else has been scheduled. So you'll notice it grays out all the area around here. So as soon as this event ends, it'll go back and play my default playlist. Without that, it'll just continue to play whatever the last content was. So really handy way to have something happening in the future and then always default back to the content that you would want on your screen. Hit save and publish, and then you've got the ability to update any of the screens as well. So this will overwrite your playlist because a playlist is a, a bunch of content, but a schedule is a bunch of playlists is the easiest way to think about it. So we put the, the schedule on the screen and now, oh, that's got a, the wrong one. This is the one, apologies. Um, you put that content on the screen and then that, that allows you to update um, the content automatically without even having to log in. Back in the deploy section, um, down here, we now have all of our screens. So Ryan from FOSS, if you work with him, he'll be able to uh, install your hardware on any hardware um, that you guys require. He can help you with all of the commercial grade panels, which we'll go into in a second. Um, but basically, once you have that application installed, you click on add screen, put in the identity code, and it would be in here ready for you to go. So this is where you can see all of your screens from, from anywhere in the country. So in here, you've got a couple of options. You can use the content changer here and you can put on replace. And this will just give you a list of all of your playlists and all your schedules on the account. And I can choose the new playlist that I want and press submit. Obviously that's a very manual process. So if you're doing this a lot, this is where we recommend using the schedules because the schedules will automate the changing of that for you. So now you can just press the schedule and you don't even have to think about it. We do have offline notifications, which you can toggle on here that allow you to receive an email if your screen goes offline, just in case you want to be informed of, you know, your device that needs to be get back online. Maybe the internet connection has gone down. Keeping in mind that if it does get disconnected from the internet, it still will continue to play that content until it has an internet connection again. Here we'll see the offline status. So clicking on this will give you a 14 day history to show you a histogram of what that content, uh, what that screen's been doing. And then you can just see some information about the uh, screen of the license. So the license type, when it's due to expire, how much remaining time, when the last content was updated. So 10 months ago, 19 days ago, just when the last content was received. And then the application version, which basically just helps us identify, you know, if there's anything that we need to do to upgrade it. We do have screen groups, which allow you to put any number of screens into a screen group, and then you can update them all simultaneously. So let's say you had a hundred screens and you wanted them all playing the same content and you were changing it pretty frequently. You put a hundred screens in here. You can use this toggle box to replace the content, select the new content and press publish. And then all of those screens would receive, receive that content update. In the back end, we do have some security features. <clears throat> so just allow you to change your password, set up multi-factor authentication, update your company details, you won't see companies, that's just something that we have in the back end to help users set up. But we do have users in here, so you can add as many users as you want. Just put in a new email address, just select your company from here, first and last name, and that'll send them a welcome email and away we go. 
If you want to add additional uh, permissions, we do have permission groups, which allow you to choose what users have access to. So we can reduce it down to view, view and modify and create across all these different elements. And we do have specific granular control over a single screen or a single playlist as well, if you want to get into that level. Ryan, is there anything you want me to show in a little bit more detail or carry on? Uh, I suppose that now would be a good time to actually talk about the licensing, I would say, because that's uh, obviously some uh, pro licensing features there. So. Yeah, absolutely. So on our main website, we're very transparent with our pricing because one of the things that we absolutely hate is when you go to a website and it doesn't tell you what something costs. So on our main website at fusionsignage.com.au, you can come down here and you can see all of our different license types. So we do have three different license types, our basic, advanced and pro, and we do have three durations, annual, three yearly and five yearly. So depending on which um, duration and which type you want, the, all the options are here. Our most common would be the advanced and that gives you all of your scheduling features as well as access to the designer. Uh, basic is very simple in terms of just, I'm using a USB stick, I'm very rarely changing my content. I just wanna be able to do it remotely if I need to. So we recommend that for customers who basically have a USB stick and just wanna be able to say, put this on six months later, I might change my content. But otherwise the advanced gives you a, a bunch of features for really not that much more uh, in terms of the license costs. When we start getting into the pro, this is where, you know, if you've got 20 or more screens, the pro license might be something you want to consider. It does give you things like the enterprise features like single sign on uh, capabilities. We can do proof of play reports in there. We start getting into more advanced features like interactivity, so we can do some touch screen deployments as well. Um, it's got our location structure. This is really able to segment at the account so you can subdivide your account into multiple different locations and give each of your stores or, or branches the capability to manage their own system. And then the tagging system is essentially coming very, sh very shortly, which will allow you to uh, put tags on screens as well as uh, put tag rules into a playlist to say, look, if this screen has this tag, play this content. So it really reduces the number of playlists you require down to a a one or two when you previously would need potentially hundreds. So these are some more enterprise features, but if you do need those, we're happy to discuss it um, once we get into there. One of the one of the beauties as well is that um, we're able to, to essentially pro rata, so people can grow with the software. So as they develop more and get more uh, growth within their business and they want to put in more screens, um, we can essentially say, well, now you need some pro features. We can move you up from your advanced to the pro. Absolutely. Start start somewhere that you're comfortable with and then as you start to grow with it, add those features in for sure. One of the big questions that we get as well is, you know, what kind of hardware do we need to use? And uh, a lot of the time, some of our customers say, look, I've, I've seen JB Hi-Fi or Kogan and I can get this smart TV. Um, one of the big difficulties that we have is a lot of those TVs are just not really fit for purpose. So the best analogy I can kind of give, give is if you were setting up a restaurant or a cafe, you probably wouldn't go to JB Hi-Fi or Harvey Norman and just buy a consumer grade kitchen set you go and buy commercial grade because it's designed and, and built to last in the rigors of the commercial environment. So it's very similar to the digital signage displays where a TV, a smart TV, um, is designed to run at maximum up to six, seven, eight hours a day. You can't put it into portrait orientation. You can't lock down the application so that our application automatically boots up in the morning. So you'd have to manually turn it on and off every single day. Um, the the burn-in is, is definitely a, a big factor in terms of if you leave it running beyond that, it can potentially burn the screen out. There is no commercial warranty on a smart TV if they find out that it's being run into business. Um, and it's just really, uh, you get what you pay for, essentially is what we say. So. Ryan and the boys from FOSS can definitely help out with uh, designing and building your commercial grade solution because it will kind of steady well into the future. And I know you're, you've got a bunch of manufacturers that you work with there. We're, we're very much a, a vendor agnostic. We, we like to be able to have the, the best in class. So it's not, uh, not just as simple as, as picking a TV. We like to look at where it's going, what the orientation is, whether it's going to be exposed to direct sunlight, whether it's going to have um, glare at any point in the day. And then we can pick a solution that will be best for your needs because there's nothing worse than having uh, a really great content, every you know, great content distribution. But if your clients can't see it because it's getting glare off a bit of glass, uh, it's 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 not effective. Um, so we we like to work with a number of manufacturers, uh, everyone from your yeah, Samsungs, LGs, Philips, um, through to smaller uh, manufacturers such as Mitsumaru, who do some really cool high bright products. So um, yeah, we'll we'll be able to tailor something that is. Um, to your needs uh, and also to, you know, I know price is a consideration, but something that is to your price point as well. So. 
Amazing. So hopefully you've kind of seen just how simple digital signage is. Uh, Ryan and Foss can basically help with the hardware side of it, which if they're doing their job well, which they do, you don't even have to stress about it. So once that hardware is installed, you shouldn't have problems with it for three, five. I mean, we've had clients that have had it up to seven years. So that once that hardware is in, you basically just need to say, well, what content do I want to put on? And how do I update that content? So hopefully yeah, you consider Fusion signage uh, because it's definitely... Uh, uh, a simple and easy to use product. So feel free to sign up for a free trial, get in touch with Ryan. He can help you with that whole process. Start to finish, whatever you need, um, please do let us know. Beautiful. Cool. Thank you, James. Much appreciated for that demo. Uh, very informative as always. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for coming to the webinar. And yes, please do get in contact. Our contact details will be up shortly. Um, yeah, thank you. Thanks guys. See ya.